In this Photoshop tutorial, we'll take a look at how to correct blurry photos using the shake reduction feature in Photoshop CC. So this is a photograph that I took of a sketch that I made in my sketchbook. I took this photo with the camera on my phone and it's a little bit shaky. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see that it gets a little bit blurry up here, especially in this area. So how do we fix that? The first thing that we'll do is we'll use the crop tool to crop out anything that's not necessary. So I'm just gonna crop this down so we don't see that background. And then we'll go to Filter, Sharpen, Shake Reduction. Now just give it a minute, let it do its thing here. It's going to try to calculate where the blur is at and which direction it's going. I did a pretty good job there. You can draw additional boxes to further refine the calculation. Maybe we'll do one more down here. If you wanna remove a region, you can uncheck the box here for it. I think this is looking pretty good. You can also play around with the source noise. If you have a really noisy image or a really grainy image, you can set this to higher. I'm gonna set it to low because it's not very noisy. You can also play with the smoothing and the artifact suppression to smooth out the result a little bit. I'm gonna apply a little smoothing and a little artifact suppression. Then I'm going to do a before and after by clicking on the preview here. And you can see that's doing a pretty good job of sharpening it up. If I zoom into 100% here, you can see this is after and this is before. So really tightening up those details and making them a lot less blurry. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK to apply that effect. And that worked really well to sharpen up my line art. Now, if your image is super, super blurry because you're moving the camera a lot, there's only so much that this filter can do. So it's really just to kind of fix photos that are a little bit blurry and almost usable. But for the most part, if you have a blurry photo, you just shouldn't use it. You should always take multiple photos of your subject and that way you can choose the best one that's not blurry. You can also use a tripod to avoid getting any shake at all. So that's what I would recommend. But this does work pretty good for recovering the quality of some photos. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you enjoy this tutorial, go on over to patreon.com slash Aaron Rutten and make a donation to help me keep making tutorials like this available on YouTube for free. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Thursday for another Photoshop tutorial.